All right, guys. All right. <coughs> well, you're an old Luddite. <coughs> I think I have figured out what's going on with this goddamn new computer. So we are going to try one more time for the Ain't Gonna Happen Roundup rant on this spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful seconds to the last day of summer 2024. Probably the last time we will see 80 degrees in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, but it is a glorious Friday, September. September 20th, 2024, and uh, I better get on this rant before the computer eats it again or before the one set of clueless morons I could not convince to cancel their reservation at my vacation rental business this week show up. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure you guys remember last week, whatever it was, I think it was my battery collapsing probably, where uh, I was just about to get to this story to wrap up last week, so we'll just pick up where we left off in the collapse last week. Uh, this hilarious knee slapper uh, from medium.com from perhaps the single biggest clueless moron I have ever uh, met on, uh, on medium.com. I guess you could call Arum Archon. Arum Archon. Kind of a reverse doomer with this absolutely hilarious uh, long essay. Uh, this guy spewing, just spewing bullshit out of his ass titled India, India is about to go extinct. There you go. India is about to go extinct. You talk about some damn hopium. Uh, some ain't gonna happen to hopium. Good lord. Uh, you know, this, this is one of those unadulterated horse shit absolute freak outs about uh you know the shrinking population how the biggest threat to this planet is that we're not having enough babies uh this man uh claiming that indians are not having enough babies and then is it yeah this one i'm sure you've seen this photo so this is a photo that he uses to, this famous photo, I'm sure you've seen this. Uh, he is using this, I need to be very careful to about touching this computer, about this train in India that was making the rounds uh, a few years ago on the, on the mainstream media. This is a picture of a passenger train on uh, in India, uh, and of course our room is uh, talking about how that photo is uh, bullshit, I guess, and uh, how uh, that picture, which does as much as any picture. To tell how, that give the reason why we're so fucked on this planet, basically is is, is a fake. But anyway, I've insulted all of our intelligence enough. So to further insult our intelligence, let's go over to Counterpunch and uh, see what the young limp dick lefties are talking <laughs> about on uh, Counterpunch. This is from some poor, deluded uh, youngster uh, named Kira Sosa. Kira Sosa. Young people will save the world because we are the last generation that can. Yes. 
The past 20 years have been critical in the fight for bold and sustainable climate solutions. And the next five years will be even more vital. And young people like me are fighting hard to make sure our leaders get it right. Yes. Uh... While we can't count on certain stubborn politicians to save our only planet, we can count on the young people at the heart of the climate movement. The global youth-led climate movement has a long history of standing up to corporate giants and their political allies who exacerbate climate change. Yes. Young climate activists are fueling the young climate activists are fueling who are fueling who are fuel who are fueling who and winning change. <coughs> yes. Oh, you know, we are the last generation that can save the world from climate disaster and we are giving the fight our lives and for a better future everything we have got join us you know don't you don't you just really feel sad for these uh, young people I, I i can't get this story did you see that story of that 17 year old cheerleader uh, who was just on America's Got Talent who uh, I, I guess she committed suicide a few days ago. I can't remember. Did she jump in front of an oncoming car or did she jump off a bridge? I, I was a little, uh, you know, a 17 year old uh, taking stock of her future. And uh, the only logical response, jumping off a fucking bridge, killing herself. But anyway, uh, enough of that. You, you, you know, I, I always uh, give Will Lockett, uh, well, it's a, you know, a toss-up between Will Lockett and Ray Katz for being the most hopium uh, soaked apocalyptimist uh, on medium.com but I love it when even Will Lockett uh, says it ain't gonna happen when Will Lockett says it ain't gonna happen guys okay it ain't gonna happen and uh, so even Will Lockett has pulled his head out of his uh, apocalyptimist ass turns out carbon capture is even a more moronic idea than we thought it was. Yes, we are just figuring out the limits of this revolutionary technology. I'm just going to read the, uh, the the first paragraph, and, and good for Will Lockett uh, for cutting the crap on, on uh, one of the single biggest bright green lies being spewed out by everyone uh, from the global corporatocracy to the main, his main target in here, the IPCC. Anybody claiming to you that carbon capture is going to do a goddamn thing uh to turn this freight train around uh e even will Lockett is going to uh try to disabuse you of that fantasy uh if you're still suffering it take it away will carbon capture and storage is our climate silver bullet or at least that is how it is marketed even the IPCC estimates that by 2050, we can use this technology to bury 
30 gigatons of our carbon-based climate sends underground annually. For some context, the entire fossil fuel industry currently emits 34 gigatons of carbon dioxide each year. No wonder that many see CCS as our one-way ticket to net zero, which is the twin big lie of CCS, but a new study has shown that this idea is sadly utterly ridiculous. And uh, I would say uh, just the latest new study showing, uh, sh showing uh, how utterly ridiculous this is. And this one I love uh, from uh, this woman, never heard of her, also from Medium, uh, from Anna Mercury actually complaining about people claiming it ain't going to happen. Well, she, she uses the term, it's not going to happen, but I like ain't going to happen more. But, it, you know, so what she is doing in her, uh, 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 in, 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 in this uh, clueless moron essay is telling pe anybody who tells you that it ain't going to happen, that you can just look at them and, and say, I don't want to hear it. It already is happening. We are saving the planet. So uh, she uh, she asked the question in the headline, why are real climate solutions considered unrealistic? Well, Anna, the reason they're unrealistic is because they're not real. Okay, j j j just like Will Lockett uh, tried to tell you, ain't gonna happen, darling. Uh, you, you can, uh, you can, uh, you know, you can wish in one hand and you can shit in the other and you can see which one fills up first. So, uh, she, uh, I I anyway, she, uh, this is a long, uh, article so I, I can just uh, I'll just touch on some of my my favorite parts in the middle so she starts off you know with a friend within with a debate she was in with one of her I guess negative downer uh, Debbie friends about whatever they ain't gonna happen something about the sustainability of cities or some shit and so anyway uh, so she's telling him, you know, about all of these solutions, I guess. Sure, my friend replied, but that's not going to happen. We hear versions of this a lot. You propose a radical change and you're shouted down, not by those who disagree with your goals, but by those who want that who want that same change but declare it to be impossible it's not going to happen yes in the case of humans living land based regenerative lifestyles and building ecological regenerative economies of course, it's going to happen. Yeah, darling, it, it, you know, it's going to happen uh, uh, well, after the collapse of global industrial society, you know, uh, after we work through a few thousand years of dark ages and evolve uh, some sort of gills or, or, or reptilian skin or whatever. Uh, at, at that point, it's, it, it, it's going to happen. Uh, what someone means when they say it's not going to happen is usually, I think, such 
a radical change is unlikely to happen to me and those like me in an immediate time frame. Well, there you go. So what, what I just said, uh, it, 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 some of this shit uh, it is going to happen, uh, but, but not uh, until this whole fucking uh, house of cards comes down. And uh, if there are any survivors uh, after all of this uh, hopium-soaked, happy horse shit uh, turns out to be exactly what it is, which is hopium-soaked, happy horse shit, and uh, the civilization collapses and, and, and give it somewhere... Uh, you know, for civilization 10,000 years, uh, for the planet 10 million years to recover, uh, then maybe at that point it's going to happen. So there you go. Uh, but I've heard enough of, uh, but I, I did, I did like to see, uh, it ain't going to happen that, uh, that, that now we ain't going to happen, doomers. Uh, are, are now being sh and, 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 and beat up the doomer is beat up the ain't gonna happen doomers thank you Anna for that laugh anyway uh, I guess I should have you, you know I mentioned Ray Katz uh, a moment ago being one of my favorite hopium soaked apocalyptimist out there you gotta give Ray a, a little bit of credit and so what is his solution of the week? The zero state solution. The zero state solution that we're just, you know, just average citizens. We're just going to, we're, we're going to run the world. Just, just ignore, just ignore all that pesky stuff like the global and, and corporatocracy and, uh, and, and all of those pesky politicians. It just, just uh, we, we have our own planet to save, okay? And uh, I, uh, let's see. Uh, we have a choice. Unite and work for survival or fight each other and die like fools. Let's leave our leaders and their corrupt systems behind. Let's reach out to each other as people, befriend each other, and commit ourselves to stabilizing the planet we share. Yes. Uh, anyway. Uh, we don't need to be part of the trouble. He's, you know, particularly using uh, Israel and Gaza as just one example of how we, meaning average Joes, don't need to be part of the trouble. I envision people on both sides, you know, the... Uh, the Israelis and the Palestinians, I envision people on both sides befriending each other, sharing hummus together at public places. Yeah, like they can still find a public place serving hummus in Gaza, laughing and telling stories. I envision Hamas and the Israeli government fuming as the citizens of neither side is willing to take their orders. These citizens who freed themselves of an insane obedience say, fire your own missiles, moron. Here, we are friends. You may think this is unrealistic, that it is a dream. But when people start then it's not impossible. When more people join, it becomes a possibility. And when millions recognize the obvious, that friendship 
is better than war and bloodshed and hatred, then the insanity fades. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Accepting Alice. All right. Uh, is this shit about... Uh, we're going to go over to the mainstream media for a few stories. Does this shit ever go away? Cleanup Group says it is on track to eliminate the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Yes, nonprofit environmental organization, the Ocean Cleanup, has announced that it is on track to eliminate the Great Pacific Garbage Patch by 2034 if it can get the necessary funds, that is. Yes, the organization claims that eliminating the patch once and for all, once and for all, I mean, once you clean it up, it's never coming back again. Once and for all would cost a whopping seven and a half billion dollars. The first time both a cost and a timeline has been placed on ridding, ridding the Pacific Ocean of this environmental hazard. Yes. You know, these, these uh, apocalyptimists over here at this site called the Cool Down. Oh, you got to... I cannot believe it. There's a Cool Down headline without the word game-changing in it. Researchers make breakthrough with genetically engineered wood that could transform the construction industry. Oh, God. What do I have? Two more? Yes, all right, two more. Uh, okay, this is from this outfit simply called Anthropocene. Anthropocene. So, uh, how are we going to survive the Anthropocene? How about personal cooling device overcomes AC's flaws? A PCD is a low-cost gadget that absorbs heat radiating from skin. It could be an energy-efficient, quiet way to keep cool with the windows open for fresh air. Yes. Researchers in China say they have developed a cooling device that by absorbing heat brings down skin temperature by 7 degrees C by cooling people instead of entire buildings, it could cut the energy use of standard air conditioning in half. But probably the saddest, the saddest uh, story of all of the ain't gonna happens. We're uh, gonna end with the with the never ending. Uh, hopium uh, from these the, the, these pathetic d this really sad uh, coral saviors endangered sea corals moved from South Florida you, you know where what is it 97% of those new coral reefs that they tried to replant uh, have died. So, what are they going to do? They are not going to give up. 
they're simply going to move. They're going to move those endangered sea corals from South Florida to the Texas Gulf Coast for restoration. There you go. Just, where do people, uh, wh where do they get the drive? Uh, to, to, to keep the hopium alive. What do you think, little dog? Is it going to happen or not? There's a pop, my chicken's gonna happen. I know my chicken better happen. Anyway, guys, get out there and enjoy moving your baby coral from South Florida to Texas to save the planet. We're so fucked. Bye, guys.